the view from the cockpit of the GTI Mark V. I, um, I'm on my way to my tent guy. He's also a vinyl guy. I'm thinking of getting some vinyl put on the back hatch. And it might be lazy on my part, but it's so hard to keep that clean with all the road debris and the, the street grime and all that crap. So we're going to clay bar it. It's going to be all nice and clean. But I'm thinking of getting a vinyl to go over that hatch. And I'm thinking about Made in Wolfsburg. I'm thinking about Made in Wolfsburg because most GTIs today are not made in Wolfsburg. Mine was made in the Wolfsburg plant from Germany. Actual German. They produce all the GTIs now in Mexico. But I hear that they're going to change back. I think they're changing back to making the, G the new GTI in Wolfsburg again. So I might do something like that. I might just have it black, gloss black. I might have some kind of graphics we don't know. Uh, but that's what I'm doing today. I'm getting my... But actually, what I'm doing today is getting sideburns. My sideburns I had, the APR sideburns, they kind of faded. They were getting to the point where it almost looked ratty. So I just peeled them off. You know, they're real easy. I'm going to get it... Uh, my tent guy, Hi Vin. He's the only guy you can say, Hi, Hi. And it's his name. But yeah, Hi, hi Win. He's, he's going to uh, install my sideburns. And I could do it. I did the other ones. But these ones look a little more finicky. I got a newer style APR sideburn and they look like they're separated or something. I think, you know, I just, I'd hate to get it on there and, you know, it'd be all screwed up and everything. So I got my new watch on. This is called the Galaxy Watch. It's really the best watch I've had. I used to be an Invicta guy, but I love the smartwatch now. And this looks like a traditional watch, which I like, and it's big. And it's, it actually can be used as a phone. I can say, hello, 10 4, calling in. Yes, target acquired. It could be like that. You can make phone calls with your watch. So. so that's what I'm doing. I got my hair cut. My girl came back. Or actually, I came back to my girl. I was out of town for a week, so. I let my hair grow long. Like three weeks, man. Three weeks. I was practically a hippie. But I don't judge people on their hairstyle. I think you can have any kind of hair you want. It's your life. It's your head. You know? Wear it with pride. I just say style it in some way, you know? It's a beautiful day. We, we kind of got... I mean, it seems like it's hot, but it's only 88. We had gotten real humid before. Oh, yeah. This is something else that's happened. But I'm going to take care of this myself. This finally bit the dust my little center it's, it's still working right now but if I hit a bump the lights will come on and go off so I, I tried to peel it apart and I cracked off the thing <laughs> I knew it was not working anyway it looks like it just plugs in so I called ECS tuning and they uh, they had look up my VIN number I'm like why am I giving my VIN number to this guy he looked up my exact VIN number to find out exactly what part I had and that's the best way to do it and he goes no we have them he goes, trust me, Mr. Reardon, put these code in. When I put the code in, a picture even showed up of what it is. Because the one on the website shows the one with the satellite control, or satellite, the uh, sun sunlight. <laughs> the, the little dial that opens. The only ones that, look, it's blinking right now. Son of a gun. Well, I ordered that. I should get that hopefully in a couple weeks. See, if you pull down on it, it doesn't. But uh, I'll have to be really careful. If I think that I can't handle it, I'm just going to go to Volkswagen. I don't want to rip my headliner or something. I think it just feels like it'll pop off. I've done stuff on my bus. I've replaced vents and everything. So you just gotta be real gentle, pop where the tabs are and pull it off. I'm gonna look at the new one and see where the tabs are and I'll be real gentle, I'll pull off this one. And I think it's just unplugging it. It's a matter of unplugging it, plugging the new one back in and then just popping it in. And I think I'll have a new dome light. But think how long that's lasted, it's over from 2007 October of 2007 because I got my car delivered in November 2007 2008 GTI I am thinking of the future folks if they ever come up with a Tesla style GTI where you know it can go 170 miles an hour have one gear zero emissions 
I'm all in for that one. I'm telling you right now, I'd start saving for it right now. If you had like a all electric GTI, like fast, you know how Tesla has cars that can go fast and they're all electric but they're still cool? I would be all for that. I know Porsche's making them now, you know, but then Volkswagen's making ones that just barely move. I mean, what, what's the deal? We have the technology, right? If we have the technology, make one that barely moves for grandma, and make one that goes 170 miles an hour for me because I want to go 170, right? I might not be able to go 170, but just the idea to know that I can go 170 is quite satisfying. And uh, from what I hear, these electric cars can be very fast. There's like no inertia almost. It's just like you're at a stopping point and then you're, going, you're starting to move. You start moving quick. Hey, this is another thing that's happened to me. I've had a complete awakening on my diet. I've lost over 15 pounds. I'm eating healthy. I'm only eating natural things, man. Fruit, vegetables, whole grains. No fat, no sweets, no soda, right? No processed food. And it's only been like almost, not even 14 days, or is it almost 14 days now? And I'm losing weight like you wouldn't believe. And I feel great. This is unsweet tea. It's horrible. It's horrifying. But I'm drinking it. Because it has no sugar. It has no sodium. It has nothing. It's just that horrifying taste of unsweet tea. But you know what? I'm healthy. And that's my new model. If you taste something and it tastes good, don't eat it. Because it's most likely going to kill you. And would you rather die saying, mm, that tastes really good, but I'll be dead tomorrow. No. You want to eat healthy, horrible food. That's my new diet. No, actually, it's not horrible at all. I, I eat, uh, I go to Wawa. Wawa has these new salads. They put the chicken on top, like little grilled, grilled chicken, not fried, grilled. And, and then it's all natural. It's all vegetables and things. And then uh, you got a nice little vinaigrette for whom the bell tolls. Um, a nice little vinaigrette salad dressing, like very light vinegary taste. It's very nice. I don't even put salt or anything on it. I don't put salt or pepper on the salad. I just eat natural, man. I'm like a rabbit. I just eat, hey, and I drive one too. But yeah, but I mean, that's, that's it. I'm, I'm healthy and I feel great. I'm, I'm like down to 169. I was 182, man. 182. I'm back to my fighting weight. And I am doing more exercises on the bus. I do 25, 25, and 25. That's my goal. 25 push-ups in the morning on the bus. 25 when I get a stopping point somewhere on the bus. And then 25 before I do my post trip. So you got 75 push-ups today. And then I'm trying to do sit-ups. I've got up to 40. It's the most I can do at one time. But uh, I'll do 25 at least if I get tired. We're going to be going fast now, so I'm going to probably have to roll up the windows. And the other thing I'm looking into with FS tuning is my my catch can system doesn't seem to be working right. It's got, I plugged off an inlet pipe and I got just two hoses and that's the way it's supposed to be. And a lot of units are like that. But what we're finding is that there's oil seeping from the diverter valve and Fabian thinks that there's too much pressure in the system and it'll find its way out. It's not that there's a leak, it's just that you got tons of pressure. Maybe that's why I'm fast though, I don't know. <laughs> but I might be getting like a ventilated system for the catch can. Why am I going this way? Oh no, I went the wrong way. I'll be able to go fast. Maybe subconsciously I was going so slow, my body just took me to the highway like this is enough, man. Or my car did. Oh no, I could have swore I saw a nail. I'm in tiptronic mode now. We will be able to fly on this road at this time of day normally. I came the longest possible way, I think. We're going through Lake Mary. Crap! Why did I do that? Here we go. I tell you, the GTI is fun to drive. If you don't have one, you don't know what I'm talking about. What you have to be concerned with is slow drivers. 
and people that don't know how to drive. So you gotta basically stay away from them. People that wobble in their lane, people that are texting and driving too slow, people that wanna change lanes, that change their mind and come back, it's even challenging to pass those people because you don't know, well, what if they'll go to the fast lane? Because they're unpredictable. But once you gauge the traffic and you see how everyone's just going along, that's when you make your move. That's the, saf the safest way to pass someone. Well, it's loaded with traffic, unfortunately. How about Endgame? Wasn't Endgame awesome? I want to tell you, man. That is a roller coaster ride of emotions and almost a religious experience, isn't it? I mean, man, every scene, every part of that movie is enjoyable to watch. And if you're a true Marvel fan and you've seen all the movies, you will notice a lot. You know, there was a lot they put into that movie. Callbacks to former movies. Um, the Russo brothers have explained that Captain America was always worthy to lift the hammer. And he could have lifted it in Civil War, right? Or Age of Ultron, what am I saying? Age of Ultron. <laughs> so, he has enough character as a man not to steal Thor's thunder, so to speak. And to make Thor feel bad by just lifting it and saying, look, I'm worthy too. So, if you look at that scene again, it is kind of telling. I actually watched it again. And you'll see Captain America wiggle it. And then he stops, like, for a second, because he knows, hey, I can lift it. Then he goes and, like, does a little show, like, oh, man. Then he lifts his hands up, like, I can't do it. Yep. And, and, and uh, he, he's, he's, he's lying. Because <laughs> it's a great scene in the movie. That's probably the, the great takeaway scene of the movie, is when the uh, Mjolnir is wielded by Captain America. So, you know, you see uh, Thor just get hammered. I mean, he just, like, pummeled and pummeled and kick like in the face I think into the the rocks you know and he like he actually gets embedded into the rock that's how powerful Thanos is he's like boom you know and then uh, he's laying there and then they show the scene of the hammer like vibrating and electricity coming and you're like oh good the, the hammer's coming what's what's it gonna do it whizzes past Thor hits Thanos on the way to cap <laughs> and that was like that's when everybody cheered and stood up and uh, it was a great 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 scene in the movie and then Thor goes I knew it <laughs> he says I knew it <laughs> it wasn't Thor great I mean the rotunda Thor man I thought he was great and now we've got a new future but you know what I was thinking folks and I'm just gonna end down here because I don't know if, if everybody's into Marvel like I am but I mean if you're not why not it's like the best thing around and uh, some of the best stories ever told are Marvel stories God bless Stan Lee. But um, the ancient one who was talking to Professor Hulk in Endgame told him this is our timeline. Remember she waved her finger like that? And there was a little orange line or whatever that showed a timeline. And she says, the Infinity Stones are like interwoven with our timeline. If you remove one stone, you create a branch timeline, right? And she said it would open up our timeline to very dark forces, make our, our timeline unsafe. Guess what, folks? The MCU, the current timeline, has zero Infinity Stones now. Zero. They've been pulverized to atoms, according to Thanos. They're gone. So that means our timeline is completely screwed up is completely vulnerable to all the dark forces of the multiverse. So this is a big thing. But just keep that in mind. I, and I, had to, I had to watch some videos and then uh, hear different viewpoints on it. But I mean, I, it just dawned on me myself. I'm like, wait a minute. I remember when she was talking about that. I was like, wait a minute. This ain't right. So the MCU will go on. So now we all have to see Iron Spider. You know, we got to see... Uh, Spider-Man Far From Home and see what he's going to do because there's going to be some very big reveals in that movie so we'll all have to go see it because even the Russo brothers say that you know they're handing it off to others now but um, basically people, other people can take it and run with it 
by Kevin Feige, the executive producer over all the Marvel Cinematic Universe, says that the Spider-Man movie is the official end of Phase 3. I thought it was Endgame. It's not Endgame. It's Spider-Man Far From Home. That will be the official ending of Phase 3. And then Phase 4 of Marvel will be cosmic. It'll be all cosmic adventures. So we're going to see Guardians of the Galaxy. Some people are saying they might be called the Asgardians of the Galaxy. Um, so it'll be very cool. There's more fun things happening. When I get over there and settle in with high wind and I get my sideburns on, I'm going to show you what they look like. You remember what the old ones look like, right? So I might show you a before and after look. I'd have a great day. Enjoy your time off if you have any. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood here in Florida. It's only 88 degrees. And life is good. Have a good day. <laughs>